Bay. Bay, what are, what are you doing? Is you ready or what? I'm almost done. Dang, why are you always rushing me? Why are you not done Can't yet? Nobody rush you. Oh my God! Look, hurry up! I'm finna go get the okay. car. Hey. Damn, I'm always taking all day. Say, man, it ain't no telling how long it's gonna take her being head ass to get ready. So I figured I might as well go ahead and fill y'all in on what's been going on. So obviously the first step in starting a dispensary is getting a license. Well, for some reason, this old bastard wanted to make that near impossible. Well, listen, sometimes in life, it's not what you know, but rather who you know. Alicia brought all her colleagues from her law firm that she works at to our appeal hearing. Now his old ass ain't got nothing to say. Uh-huh. Anyways, Alicia's intimidation plan worked and we secured our license. Now it was time for us to find a location to set up shop. The first stop I made was to this small family owned dispensary right off the beach. Now I had no real intention on working with them, but I still wanted to reach out. That way it's no hard feelings when we run them out of business. But just like I thought, they wasn't trying to hear anything I was saying. So cool, on to the next one. Now the next stop I made was to this nice sized building downtown. I can't lie bruh, it had real potential. It was already gutted for the most part, so that means refurbishing would be super easy. It also had an upstairs which would have been perfect to add some office space, but the owner of the property wanted way too much damn money. Now look, I ain't gonna lie, I was getting ready to call it a day, you know head home, but that's when I ran into the perfect location bruh. After spending what seemed like hours convincing Alicia I found the right spot, it was finally time to pull the trigger and make our dreams a reality. So many long stressful nights have led to this point. And as you can tell, we're both exhausted. Man, it's crazy to think at the beginning of this series, I was just a small time mechanic trying to find my place in this world. Now look at me, a multimillionaire on the verge of creating generational wealth for my family. Damn, that sounds good. But say, man, the marathon isn't over. After securing the property, it was time to go over the blueprints with the contractors. The building has been vacant for some time now, so it was in pretty rough shape, but it's all good. We'll make sure to get everything fixed up. Now seeing the 3D model of the property has me confident it has the potential to be the best looking dispensary on the west coast. Now baby and I are splitting duties so she'll be picking the dispensary staff and I'll be hiring the security. So I really want to make sure to create a safe but elegant environment for our shoppers. So this is a very important decision. So I hired a team of very skilled armed guards to secure the perimeter of the dispensary and also the inside. Now they're extremely expensive but safety is key. After receiving all the supplies needed to fill the dispensary, it was my job to do the inventory and make sure everything was in place for our grand opening. This is crazy, man. It's finally happening. Now, normally in this situation, I'd probably be a little scared, you know, just a little nervous, but not this time. For some reason, I'm super confident that everything is going to work out in our favor. But I can't say the same for Alicia, though. I mean, she's been trying her hardest to put up a front, but deep down inside, I know she nervous as hell. <laughs> All the work is done, man. Only thing left to do now is to go out there and perform. So please explain to me why every time we get ready to leave the house, I'm having to wait on you. I mean, it don't matter if we go into some place you wanted to go, I'm still having to wait. Like, what? explain that to me, please. Because I'm very particular. I'm a bad bitch. You don't want just anything on your arm. I mean, that's true, but you knew what time we had to be there. Now I'm having to damn near run lights and wait in traffic not to be late, bruh. You act like you don't take a long time in the bathroom. I do so not take a long do, time. You do. So that's why I have to go after you. And then I'm just d left with the time that I have left. So like, so basically you saying it's my fault. Somehow me, <laughs> me having to wait on you is my fault. Yes, of course. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Anyways, you how you gonna get in the get in the car and not say hi? You gotta say hello to the viewers, oh, man. You tripping? What's good, PFG family. How y'all doing? Yeah, that was lame. Anyways, so y'all, we are on the way to the dispensary, running late, of course. Um, how do, how do you feel right now? This is monumental, man. You've been grinding. I gotta give you your credit. You've been grinding for, you know, some time now. We've been putting in a lot of work. How do you feel about everything we've been working for finally coming to fruition? For for. for <laughs> fruition <laughs> anyways how do you feel <laughs> man babe to be honest i'm i'm super nervous like i can't even front i, I know i've been <laughs> shut up i know i've been holding it together and you know trying to save face but i'm i'm nervous i'm excited but i'm nervous yeah that's understandable well i mean it is what it is all the hard work is done everything is done now it's just yes. time to 
go have fun man so y'all we are not far away from the dispensary i will see you as soon as we get there all right guys we finally made it to the dispensary as you can see i got our security fences out now we're expecting a very very large turnout we did a lot of promotion online i'm talking facebook instagram myspace like bro we did crazy promotion man so it's a few hours until the event kicks off so we just want to make sure we got everything in order so i have my security in place already um our two employees are already inside alicia's just in there giving them a quick rundown but let me give you all a quick tour of the building man we brought a cookies dispensary to los angeles bruh we hey man we make it move so y'all see we got it branded on the side of the building we're only a few blocks away from the beach man amazing amazing location but let's run inside real quick now they are having a little meeting over there so i'm gonna keep my voice down just bear with me real quick give y'all a quick tour so like i said i got my security in place over here we went ahead and made sure we got the cookies logo plastered everywhere we could um everything is official bro y'all see gp over there on the wall for those of you that don't know my boy gary payton yes he is the official you know cookies real when you know he's a part of the team so yeah man we got all of our brands up there you see the honey bun the gelato the lemon cakes the cake mix everything bro it's all official everything is everything is here in shop um over here we actually have our vape pin like uh the cartridges that you need for your vape pins we got all of those right there and then of course you got to have your merchandise cookies has grown to become bigger than just you know a weed strand or a weed brand it is actually a like a real company I don't, I don't know how to describe it man but yeah man we got our cookies merchandise over here if you want to get you a little shirt little hat or whatever we got that here for you as well and then of course out here on our displays we got a few you know a few buds if you just kind of want to pick you up something quick man you ain't got time to to shop around you want you something quick man just come in you know grab and pay for it and get up out of here man so yeah we got everything um of course we got more merchandise over there but like i said they're having a meeting but let me show y'all something that's that's even more exclusive i kind of kept this a secret from y'all so just please forgive me man but i'm gonna give y'all a quick tour of something we working on down here so of course we got our office right here you know nice size office handle some paperwork now i don't know why the hell we <laughs> <laughs> we got that old ass computer and printer but hey man it is what it is bro <laughs> i guess it came with the building but let's go through this door i know y'all probably wondering what the hell could be on the other side of this door let me show you now originally the plan was for me to actually use one of my trucking company's trucks to transport supplies to and from the cookies uh weed farm or grow operation or whatever Bro, they believe in us so much they allowed us to set our own grow operation up in the basement of our dispensary look at this man we got all the brands all the strands everything you need we got it here on location that way you ain't gotta wait you know two and three weeks or however long it takes for us to re-up now we got it all right here bro look at this man this is very very monumental we got the lights the the listen bro the fans everything man i'm so excited for this operation bro the one thing i really love about this series is we started from nothing like i said before bro we started this series off as like literally a small time mechanic doing rebuilds and, <laughs> and basically watching cars now we are literally multi-millionaire business owners and i'm not going too crazy old next episode private jet no we taking our time we got a baby on the way bro we really making moves y'all so i'm super super excited for what's to come but well, we got a little more work to do so i'm finna go tap in with alicia and we kick this thing off man so the grand opening turned out really well but i think alicia probably had her hopes a bit too high we made eight thousand dollars today which is amazing for only our first day in business i think she was probably expecting us to totally sell out of stock and make over twenty thousand or something like that so of course i had to spend the majority of the night letting her know that today's numbers are a win for us it's just our first day but after i got her to calm down i said we should go outside and have a few drinks you know unwind a bit but that's when she hit me with this so babe i've been thinking with all of the moves we've been making, you know, the house, we got the business up and running, and we got the baby on the way. I was just thinking, like, why not make it official? Like, why don't we get engaged, you know? I mean, we've been building this life together, and I know what I want, and I know you feel the same way about me, so why not do this? Like, honestly, let's get married. Thank you. 
Yes, Thirsky! PFG family, man, we are finally back with another dope ass video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video on the way in. Guys, I have a hilarious, bro, a hilarious story time. And I actually went on Google Maps to take a, you know, take a video to show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Let's start off with a quick outfit check. Now, I'll be the first to say, bro. I'll be the first to say today's outfit is kind of trash. I ain't going to lie to you, but I wanted to pay homage to a legend. That boy Car Carmelo Anthony, y'all know the season just kicked off. I know he doesn't play for the next net Nets, the Knicks, excuse me. I know he don't play for the Knicks no more, but we threw on the Knicks jersey with the nines and just, you know, a little hoodie underneath. Nothing too crazy, but forget all that, man. Let's just go ahead and start with this story, man. Now, listen, this story is when I was in middle school, so don't judge me. We was just young and dumb, bro. So, listen. <clears throat> I have a, I had a best friend, bro. My best friend Casey, like this is my dog, like for real, bro. Like he's like one of them homies where when something funny, y'all. Let me go first person actually. When something funny, you ain't even gotta talk to each other. Y'all just both bust out laughing, like just on one accord, like my homie, right? So look, it's summertime. My mom's is at work. His, come on, bro. His mom's is at work. So you know we trying to get into some dumb stuff, right? So look, my mom had just got home from work, right? Just got to the crib, bruh. So me and Casey, we like, man, your mom's here. My mom gonna be coming home soon. Let's just leave the crib, man. Let's just go, you know, ride our bike somewhere or something like that. So we end up leaving my crib and we walk up to these apartments. Now, <laughs> here in a second, I'm gonna go to Google Maps and I'm gonna put it on the screen and what I'm talking about. But at these apartments, in front of these apartments, there's a whole bunch of trees, like a lot of trees, bruh. And dude, like, check this out, man. So we had this idea. The trees, they would like shed acorns, like these huge acorns, bruh. If you don't know what an acorn is, then <laughs> just Google it, bruh. They would shed these acorns all over the ground. So we like, man, bro, let's just have some fun. Let's just mess with people. As people driving down the street, each of us going to get a handful. <laughs> We're going to get a handful of acorns and just launch them at cars, right? Now, this tree line is right here. So we going to hide behind the trees. And I'm going to go ahead and put the video up so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about right now. So look. We hiding behind these trees, but before we launched these acorns, Casey and I made a pack. I don't know if that's how you say it, but we made an agreement. The agreement was to not throw acorns at any black people. Before you throw them acorns, see if they black. Now, there ain't no, no racist type stuff. Hear me out, right? You and I both know that black people are real confrontational. And I'm black myself, so don't don't try to cancel me, guys. Like, just hear me out. But we we our our mindset was like, if we hit somebody that's black, if we hit their car, they gonna turn around and they gonna chase us. If they ain't black, you know, they may just say, you know, what the hell, and keep driving. That was our mindset, right? So we like, boom, don't throw no acorns and no black people, right? So he like bet, I'm like bet. So we take, you know, we take cover, right? And we just waiting. Now I don't know how we figure we'd be able to determine who's driving a car in one split second but we just said f it so it was a stoplight up the street we like hey bruh as soon as this light turned green we locking these bitches right so <laughs> we taking cover behind these trees both of us got like four acorns boom a car drives down the street i never forget it was an old toyota four-door toyota it was one of them green ones with with the uh the tan interior it had to be like a 98 or something right boom one Two, three, <laughs> me and Casey stand up. Whoa, 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 boom, boom, boom. All you hear was the impact of our acorns tearing Buddy's car up. Now, acorns, they not like no rocks, but they got a little weight on them. You know, they'll definitely travel if you got that arm. Bruh, tore Buddy's car up. <sighs> Why did Buddy smash on the brake? We thinking, you know, if he does decide to turn around, it'll be a few blocks up. And then, you know, by that time, we'll be going, no. Buddy smashes on the brakes right then and there. Me, me, me and Casey like, oh, oh shit. Me and Casey go, bro. Me and Casey, it's a huge field as y'all can see on the video. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put the video back up so y'all can see where we ran. It's this huge uh, field right here, and we ran into these apartments, bro. Buddy. When we say, when I say black, I mean Buddy was like, like a nigga. Like Buddy was like G'd up. Like out of all the cars we hit, we hit the, the gang banger. Like, bro, we smashed to these apartments, but I'm like out of breath. Buddy must have did a U-turn, pulled up in the apartments. Dog, caught us. Caught us, bruh. He caught us, bruh. So look, 
so stupid, man. So stupid. Well, not us. Let me let me rephrase that. Casey was a little bit faster than me. He caught me, right? He caught me, and then <laughs> he catches me. <laughs> look, look, bro. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. He catch me, right? And uh, he's like, yeah. Where your little friend at? Casey was standing inside the doorway of one of the apartment complexes or whatever, like the apartment building. He was standing inside the doorway watching me get caught. Look. <laughs> The dude is like going off on me, but he sees I'm a kid, you know, but he's still pissed that we did that to his car. So look, I ain't trying to get in trouble by myself. So I'm like, hey, Casey, Casey, come on out, man. We caught. <laughs> come on out, bro. We caught. We caught. Like, bro, so stupid, man. Casey's so pissed, man. So Casey comes out and the dude is going crazy on us. Like, man, what is y'all doing? Y'all could have caused the accident. Y'all could have did this. Y'all could have did that. But, bro, what saved us was... He's like, and where the other one at? Where the other one at? It was just me and Casey. But for some reason, I don't know how he got confused, but he thought it was three of us, right? So we was like, oh man, he he got away. He long gone. Like, all right, well, y'all stay. <laughs> so stupid, bro. All right, well, y'all stay right here. I'll be right back. I'm finna go find him. Right? So look, the dude jumps in his car with his girl, pulls off to go find this other dude who literally did not exist. It was just me and Casey this day. It was just me and him. The other dude didn't exist, but we wasn't going to tell him that. So like, y'all stay right here. Y'all bet not move. You know, me and Casey scared, but we ain't dumb enough to stay there. So boom, me and Casey take off running. As soon as Buddy turned the corner to the next apartment building, we just take off. Boom, we gone. Bruh, Casey lives one street over than me, like one street over, right? So I'm assuming the guy, when he seen we was gone, he went ahead and called the police. I don't think he was going to call the police before, but being that we left when he went to find. Oh, come on, bro. That's definitely not my fault. That's Buddy's fault. Whatever. Anyways, being that he, le being that we left when he went to call the police, when he went to find the other dude, he called the police, bro. So we make it to my house and we chilling in the backyard. We in my backyard. My mom is home at this time, so we both duck down in the backyard waiting for things to cool off, bro. What happened? My mom come in the back in the backyard. What is y'all back here hiding for? And why is the police rolling up and down my street? Bruh, uh, y'all already know that ain't got nothing to do with us. I don't, I don't know why they rolling up and down the street. Mom, like, I don't, they ain't got nothing to do with us. Uh huh. Uh, get your ass in this house. My mom tell me to come in, but obviously Casey still got to make it home. So we still telling my mom that ain't got nothing to do with us. And I'll never forget my mom was like, uh, she's like, so if I stop that police officer and ask him if he looking for two little back, uh, black boys, he gonna say no. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Of course he gonna say no, cause he ain't looking for us. You know we sitting there lying, bro, lying our ass off, bro. So look, my mom make me go in the house. She didn't care about Casey, bro. Send Casey packing, my boy Casey, man. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga had to make it all the way home, bro. Like I said, he just lived around the corner. But you know you gotta you gotta make it around the corner, and the police officers literally like combing the streets looking for us, bro. So look, Casey goes home, man. Casey makes it to the crib and he calls me. <sighs> Y'all know back then we had them house phones, bruh. This man Casey called me laughing and screaming and just as joyous because we got away with it, right? Super. Come on, bruh. Why traffic going so slow? He's super happy we got away with it. I'm super happy he made it home. We good, man. That was our adrenaline, adrenaline shot for the day. Guess who on the phone? My mom is on the other phone, bruh. <laughs> my mom is on the other phone listening to me and Casey have a field day laughing how we just like finesse Buddy. We tore Buddy's car up like just on some young and dumb stuff. Don't judge us, man. But yeah, my mom is on the other phone, bruh. Just listening. Listen, bruh. My mom didn't even wait for me to hang up the phone. My mom came to the door, bruh. Tripping belt in hand and i remember at this time she had this little plastic belt i don't know if y'all ever been whooped with plastic but plastic way worse than leather she came to the to the to my doorway belt in hand hang up that goddamn phone <laughs> hung that phone up and got a beating bro got a beating but but what made matters worse my mom hated on both of us not only did i get a beating she called casey mom too bro Mom's called Casey's mom too and told her everything that happened because Casey basically just kind of like basically snitched on us, man. 
crazy, 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 guys. I got so many story times. I actually sat down and wrote. I didn't done so much dumb stuff that I actually had to sit down and, and remember this stuff. So from now on, I'm going to have some lit story time for y'all. Let me go ahead and make this delivery. Let me see where it's going. Okay, right there. I know they ain't going to have me back in. If they do, they some haters. Oh, get out the way. Come on, man. If they have me back in, they some haters, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please. There we go. There we go. Yeah, y'all. Let me make this delivery real quick. Perfect, y'all. Successful delivery, man. I just got to take this truck back to the shop. Let me see where I'm going, actually. It's way down here. So, y'all got to take this truck back to the shop. I hope y'all enjoyed that story time. Like I said, I wanted to throw on the Google Maps uh, photos so y'all see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> What I'm talking about, man, just thinking about that moment is hilarious, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I definitely want to say thank you guys for showing so much love to the channel. As always, don't forget to smack that subscribe button, like the video, and I'm on to the next one.